Let's look at that ad again. Oh, from yesterday. We have yes, the, uh, we we're going to show that ad again. I think, I think, I think this accounts for some well, things. Maybe it's half baked. I the, speculated that yesterday. Let's, let's take a look at the ad. We hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and may God bless you and your family this holiday season. And vote for my big daddy. I'm Sanctuary Chambliss, and I sure do approve this message. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. See now, now see, hold on there. I want to just say we're going to talk more about this in our post show. Well, my speculation and, and was to say that the IM is Cedar MVS, and our phone number is eight seven seven MVS fourteen twenty six eight seven seven MVS fourteen twenty six. I thought yesterday this would appeal to a certain demographic that that it was a subtextual, uh, not so concealed reach out to a certain type of person that that uh, is sexually no I'm, well i mean look i'm thinking there's like a family element to it maybe no, i don't know he, I, he just he gropes her i mean this was the topic of conversation yesterday and and i thought to myself well, why didn't they reshoot it I just think it was something more than just a you're, mistake. You're saying that was even a conscious effort. That's to, what I'm saying is that they were, they were trying to connect Look, with a certain type of uh, of uh, I don't I, see. I don't want to be uh, racist or or, or it's racist. Not, well, I mean, I don't know if hillbillies is that a racist term? Hillbilly? I don't think. Or is so. it just wrong? Hillbilly? Well, you know, just uh, you know, I don't want to believe that all those stereotypes about hill people or about people in in, in rural southern towns. Whoa, 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 whoa. guys, guys, guys! Can I can I interrupt here? What? I I just I think we should. Uh, there's actually a phone call here from one of our uh, viewers that uh, I think could probably address some of this because he's from Georgia and he's a voter. Uh, this is um, uh, Earl from. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what part of Georgia. He just said from Georgia. Earl, hello. Hello. Uh, am I am I on right now? Yeah. Yes. How are you, sir? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Bucks County. Just so so you know uh, what part of the state I'm from. Now, I, I just want to, to to first and foremost say that this is the first time I've called in, but I have been listening, and I and I do uh, I do for the most part enjoy your your program. This particular topic that you brought up is one that that as a parent and a grandparent, uh, uh, I I would like to uh, I think the term is to weigh in on it. Uh, uh-huh. I am a Republican. I'll say that right off the bat. Uh, but I have also been called a Dixiecrat, so I, I, I do cross party lines when I feel the urge, and I, I do feel the urge to comment on on, on this particular discussion regarding uh, the fine uh, the fine uh, uh, sex about how he won uh, about how he won right. Where, where he uh, supposedly uh, groped his his granddaughter. Right. Uh, as a parent and a grandparent uh, and a Southern man, what he did is an exercise of his American right and his his ability to to exercise his right as a parent and a grandparent to uh, handle his kinfolk in a way that uh, is his right, and that is uh, by placing his hands on any part of the body that he so chooses whoa, whoa, in whoa, order whoa, to affect whoa, his whoa. affection. Wait, wait a minute. So you're saying it's okay for him to fondle his granddaughter in a sexually inappropriate way, That a member of his own family who's a minor? I mean, seriously. Is that what you're saying? It's, That's it's, why you voted for him? Not only am I saying it's okay, I'm saying that it's his right as, as, a, as a parent and a grandparent. It's not his right. No, it's not his right. It is his right. Uh, I say to my sons and daughters both, uh, in good times and bad, I can. Br- I brought you into this world, and I can take you out of this world, and I can do anything I damn please in between. <laughs> when I say in between, I mean in between any space and place. Whoa, 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 whoa. back up, back up, sir, sir, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's against the law. And it's morally inappropriate. So speeding. But how many people speed down 95 on a daily basis? And, and, and you can... Well, that's yeah, but you, you could get arrested. I mean, Jesus you get ticketed Christ. if you're caught. So you're just saying there's a difference between being against the law and getting caught. Well, when you've got a liberal, overreactive perspective, like obviously you seem to have on this issue, you forget that kinfolk are... You're talking about incestuous... goes deeper... In some instances, I have a game I'm playing with my grandchildren that they absolutely adore. It's called Eeny, Meeny, Miney, Heiny. And I say Eeny, Meeny, Miney, Heiny. And I poke my granddaughter and my grandson right in the Heiny. And boy, do they squeal with laughter like a couple of Uh, stuck pigs. Now, granted, I, I wouldn't do that. On, on on the playground because that's not every grandparent's choice, but it is every grandparent's right to do it. It's that. against the law, you <laughs> ass. <laughs> well, I, 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 laws are interpret or interpretation. No, they're no, God. they're not. You know, so interpretation. T- t- Twenty-one drinking age. I let my children drink when they were responsible enough to drink, and I, I bypassed that law because that's my right. <laughs> and if I'd like to put no, my hands on right, my children, so as I do my wife, are you saying that this encourages you to vote for Saxby Chambliss? 
It did in part because uh, he was a man exercising his right and his freedom to treat his family and do with his family as he wilt, as is every American's right. Laws are for the ignorant. Laws are for individuals that cannot take care of themselves. Americans, Earl. free Americans, Earl. will interpret the laws and act accordingly. Uh, Earl, I have to be honest with you. You're, you. You've completely misunderstood what a law is. You're a morally reprehensible individual, and I'm not a judger. Right, but I think you should check yourself, wow, my friend. That's crazy and stuff. And I appreciate your call. Yes, actually, uh, that's a little bit disgusting. We appreciate your calling in. Well, I, I, if I may say one other thing, the Angry Chef uh, scones were absolutely delicious. Oh. The more baked goods you can incorporate into the show, I, that's, a, that's an aspect that I did enjoy today. Oh, well, th thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, uh, get off the phone. Uh,